There's no grass in the sky. Creative development requires a different approach from teachers. Traditional subjects have answers, a right and a wrong. Learning is reduced to the gathering of facts. But facts are useless until something is done with them. To promote creativity, a child's experience must be open-ended. Problems should be solvable in different ways. If a child is allowed to experiment in school, he is more likely to experiment in other fields. Never has there been more need for a creative approach to the problems in the home, the community, and the world. Unless children have space in which to move and build and dream, their minds drowse and narrow. We must see beyond the four walls of the classroom, arranging it as a living, changing work of art. As a teacher, you are a designer. You arrange display boards. You organize tools and art equipment. You teach by the type of environment you create. Simple, natural materials can be gathered for children to touch, to see, to discover. Colors, shapes, puzzles, a wide choice of play materials should be available for the child to explore. You are concerned with teaching children, but much of their learning occurs during playtime. All through the year, the children are exposed to a major art form, an environment arranged by you. Playtime is a time of discovery. A time to explore the classroom.
Simple learning toys teach children a new way of seeing. The teacher is always there to explain, not to tell. To activate, not to organize. To be a friend. Children are natural designers. Left to themselves, they will create intricate patterns out of whatever they find. Puzzles fascinate. A child will single-mindedly work to complete a puzzle, a process that teaches children to solve problems. Threading beads on a string helps develop eye-hand coordination. Playtime can be a time of learning. If a child is given the freedom to explore, to choose, to solve problems, every day can be a day of discovery. When playtime is over, the children and the teacher join together to play cleanup. A sand pit is ideal for creative play. Sometimes the simplest materials are the best. Craft work requires careful preparation. The teacher should make sure there are ample materials for every child. This teacher isn't cooking, she's cutting vegetables for vegetable printing. Simple designs can be cut in potatoes. Just dip the cut vegetable in paint and press on paper. The teacher demonstrates, then steps back and lets the children loose. Take paints, brushes, and children, and an empty wall becomes a canvas. Creativity 
can be developed through craft work, but only if the meaning of creativity is understood. Some teaching can destroy creativity. Why copy a perfect elephant? The product is not important. It is the process, the creation of a child's own imagination. Clay work takes on new dimensions when other natural elements are added. Sometimes activities develop into games. Clay becomes a camera. These children have been asked to arrange flowers for the morning prayer. Give children responsibility and they will respond with pride. Gardening offers children physical activity missing in other craft work. As the garden develops, children learn that they can change their own environment and make it beautiful. Many inexpensive craft materials are found in nature. Sticks from dry coconut leaves, gum from a tree mixed in water becomes glue. Tamarind sticks burnt in a fire make excellent charcoal. Children love shadow games. Shadow painting is a group activity where the children work together. Different shapes are held over the paper and their shadows outlined. The basic shapes are colored in, then the children's imagination takes over.
take bits of colored paper and waste material, mix up some paste, and you have the makings of a collage. This teacher keeps interesting materials for the children in his book of treasures. Activities should be open-ended. Give the children a basic idea, like clay mobiles, and just see what they do with it. Displaying the children's work not only gives them a sense of pride, it teaches them the importance of completion. Children's work can be stored in individual cubby holes. This work can be a record of the child's development. Children shouldn't be confined to a classroom. Show them the world, the world of nature. Teach the children to see the wonders that surround them. Show them the beauty of the commonplace. At their feet, the children find treasures of nature to take back with them. Back at school, the children remember their trip in a collage. Children love to pretend. <laughs> Creative drama is a framework for children to become fantasy figures, an organized dream. When a child puts on a mask, he is transformed, 
losing his inhibitions. The teacher tells the basic story. An owl helps an elephant find its way home in the dark. The children are encouraged to mimic sounds and movements to become owls and elephants. Helping a child grow and develop is a teacher's greatest accomplishment. Creativity is freedom. The freedom to dream. The freedom to see.